Today, Monday, 24th of August 2015. First, let's look at the paper highlights of Daily Mirror. Election to 335 LG bodies in November. The government is determined to hold the election to the now dissolved local government bodies in November, an authoritative government source said yesterday. Public Administration, Local Government and Provincial Council Secretary Te Dadalage told Daily Mirror that President Maitripali City Sena had on Friday signed a gazette notification outlining the criteria for the delimitation of local government bodies and its expect to be released today paving the way for the local government election under the new local government electoral system. Mr. Dadalagi said the government had to hold the such election within six months of the release of the gazette's notification and after the expiry of the term of the office of remaining 25 local government bodies. He set out of a total of 335 local government bodies, 210 were being administrated by special commissioners after their team of office expired recently. The team of office of the sum of the remaining municipal council, Pradeshya Sabhas and the Avran Council will end on October 16 and the rest on October 31st. More highlights from Daily Mirror, UNFGG Minister to be shown in tomorrow. 30 Cabinet Minister and 40 State and Deputy Minister from the UNFGG will take their oaths tomorrow, informed sources said. Earlier the shroning of some of the ministers had been scheduled for today, but appointment of the new cabinet was delayed as the two main parties, the United National Party and the Sri Lanka Freedom Party, had been unable to agree on the selection of members and the assignation of subject sources said. The issue will be further discussed between the President Maitripala City Sena and the Prime Minister Ranil Bikrama Singha when they return to Colombo this evening. Senior SLFPers tip for ministers. It is also learnt that several more SLPF members will receive Cabinet Minister, State Minister and Deputy Minister. Several senior members of the Sri Lanka Freedom Party will be offered portfolios in the National Unity Government to be formed jointly by the United National Fund for Good Governance in the Sri Lanka Freedom Party, sources said. Another news from Daily Mirror, SLFP likely to leave UPFA. The Sri Lanka Freedom Party led by President Maitripala Sirisena and its newly appointed officials to contemplating the termination of its political affiliation with the United People Freedom Alliance, informed sources said yesterday. The SLPF is the main constitute for the UPFA which was formed in 2004. Its other constituted parties are the Mahajana Eksat Paramuna, Sri Lanka Mahajana Party, Desha Vimukti Janata Party, the Elam People Democratic Party and the National United Alliance. Another highlight from Daily Mirror, Rossi asks for recount, turns down, UK HC offer. In the wake of a large number of supporters requesting former State Minister and UMP Colombo District candidate Rossi Senanayaka to apply for a recount, she had written to the election commissioner requesting him to carry out a recount of the preference vote polled at the August 17 general election. She told Daily Mirror that Prime Minister Ranit Vikrama Singer had also approved her request for a recount. Ms. Senanayaka received 65,320 percentile votes on Monday's election. Now let's see the paper highlight from Daily News. President to receive UNHRC war crimes report this week. President Maitripala City Sena is to receive an advanced copy of the UNHRC war crimes report early this week, informed diplomatic sources said. This will also coincide with the arrival of US Assistant State Secretary for South and Central Asian Affairs Nisha Biswal. This will during her brief stay in Sri Lanka, he expects to hold discussion with high-profile government authorities, including former Foreign Minister Mangala Samaravira. Another highlight from Daily News, new Prime Minister bring good tiding Malwatta Mahanaya Kothera. 
The election of Ranil Vikramasinghe as Prime Minister of the country held a much better future for the country and the people, most venerable Tibbatwe Mahanayaka Thera of Malwate chapter said yesterday. The government led by the UNP in collaboration with President Maitripala Sirisena during the past six months could now be led on a very strong footing and the country taken the right path, the Mahanayaka Thera said. Moha Light from Delhi News, SLF peers who do not wish to join the national government can remain in opposition, President Maitripala Sirisena said. President Maitripala Sirisena informed SLFP MPs to elect that MPs who do not wish to join the national government can remain in the opposition. However, the President also asserted that there should not be separate clique among SLFP MP while functioning in the opposition. President Sirisena made these remarks when he met SLFP MP at the presidential house last evening. Addressing in the meeting, he expressed confidence that all SLFP MPs would support his initiative towards a national government. Now let's move to the paper highlight from Ceylon today. Chief Minister Post Western Province Somavan Sir to replace Prasanna. Western Provincial Councillor Ranjit Somavan Sir, who represent Kalutari district, is to be appointed as the Chief Minister of Western Province. Reliable sources said that Somavan Sir, who is the Minister of Indigenous Medicine of the Western Province, would replace Prasanna Ranatunga, who has been elected to Parliament. Another news from Ceylon today. Sammandan wants solution through talk. TNA leader R. Sammandan pledged to work with President Maitripala Siri Sena to solve the national question within United Sri Lanka as equal citizen of country. The TNA leader as well as the President made the statement on Saturday as the President handed over license for resettlement to the resident of Sampur around 825 families in total were displaced in 2006.